Morning friends, it is just before 10 a.m. We're getting started on our day. Kids are going to start watching today's episode of World Watch News. Good morning, it's Tuesday, January It's always 20th. so loud. <laughs> Get the kids their vitamins. We like to use these little critters, Immune C, um, plus zinc and vitamin D. And then these Jaro formulas, Yum Yum Daphilus, for their uh, probiotics. And I have to take my daily vitamins and meds here also. He named the place they, they had landed San Salvador. San Salvador. San Salvador. We're learning about Christopher Columbus right now. Which Finishing the lesson we started yesterday. Which means Holy Savior. Of course, we know that they didn't... They had not landed on China or India. They did not know what the continents of North and South America even existed. While the kids are continuing to read, I just remembered I have to do my enveral injection for the week. And they're reading about the ships of Columbus. So the uh, Santa Maria, the, uh, the Pina, the Pina. <laughs> the, oh, why am I drawing a blank? Where are they at? Santa the Maria, Nina. the Nina, yeah, I said the Pina, the <laughs> Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Thank you. Brain fog is real, y'all. <sighs> okay. okay, go ahead and read. If, if you're reading this page, let her read that page first. No, I'm reading this page. Oh, okay. They're fighting over who wants to read, the which is, Santa I guess, a good Maria. thing. I did a short little few sentence writing um, assignment about Christopher Columbus. We're going to listen to a little bit of Harry Potter while they do their sketching. Each lesson in the Master Books history has a sketching page, and today's is drawing mm. Angela's ship, mm. um, which is just supposed to look like you know, Christopher Columbus's ship, I believe. So they're going to do that while we listen to Harry Potter. It was agony to touch a person marked by something so good. Talking about some of the other explorers, um, and it, the question on the worksheet asked, which of the other explorers that we, that we learned about would they want to go on an expedition with? And Alice, who did you choose and why? Amerigo Vespucci. Amerigo Vespucci, because? I want to go to Paris and he traveled to France. She wants to see Paris and he did I would France. Like, I would like to go Ooh. with Ponce de Leon. Because finding the Fountain of Youth would be fun. Yeah, very good. Be what was Paris known for before the Eiffel Tower? Bread. <laughs> <laughs> we finished Harry Potter, um, which is good because we have a play date coming up for that in a week or so. I think the next family read aloud I'm going to do is this Rush Revere. It's not one of the folks on it. Rush Revere and the Brave Penguins. Penguins. <laughs> Pilgrims. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm not kidding. This is brain fog at its finest. I keep saying that. The mighty penguin. Did you hear me, Jack? I said Rush Revere and the Brave Penguins. Look at me. It said penguins. That was funny. Why are you looking in there? It's just an old book. I know. I paid for it at a book fair. I'm a mighty penguin. She fell. Okay, <laughs> the brave penguins, brave pilgrims. We're going to do that because that's the time period in history that we're learning about, kind of. So that'll just kind of go along with it. I've not read any of the Rush Revere books, but it was recommended by another homeschool mom. The other option that we were going to do is the next book in the Little House on the Prairie series, which I think we're on the third book. Um, Alice really wanted to do that. But Jackson was like, uh, okay. He likes them enough, but it's not his, like, favorite go-to. Yeah. I think they're interesting, though. The, the penguins. Yeah. Now they're just making fun of me at this point. I have a doctor's appointment in a few hours. What is it? 11, 12, and 3 hours. Um, I'm going to get them through a little bit more school, and then I'm probably going to nap for an hour. Because even though I did sleep a little bit last night, I'm still not, clearly, my brain is still not where... I would like it to be as far as rest goes. That goes on your shelf, yes, thank you. Um, the cold sore on my tongue still really, really hurts. Mm. And I've been doing salt water rinse and mouthwash alternating. 
drinking lots of water. I think Will's bringing home some ice cream for me because cold for me, me, non-dairy ice cream because dairy-free. But Kroger has Ben and Jerry's on sale right now, the non-dairy for $3.99. And then they have a clippable coupon that you can redeem up to five times for another dollar off. So it makes the little pints $2.99. Why are we, do you guys need to like go outside and run off some of this energy? Oh, oh. and then he just smacked my <laughs> ear. I just need, I need a do-over. You need a nap. I need, <laughs> I need a penguin. <laughs> It, like crunched my ear. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get them through a little bit more school, maybe. I'm going to rest on the couch for a few, and they're working on their Master Books language arts lesson for today. Um, it's animal Sudoku, so it's just using logic and reasoning, and they're trying to put the missing animals on the grid. They, there's six different animals, and each animal is featured in each row and each column once <gasps> per thing. We have to put that right there. Oh, yeah, because you had a cow over there. And they, I said they can work together if they want, so. I'm home from a doctor's appointment. It's just about 5 o'clock, well, quarter to 5. Making breakfast burritos for dinner really quickly. Um, Alice and I have to leave here at about 5.30, 5.40 to get to AHG tonight for the volunteer thing. Um... The doctor's appointment was just like my annual ladies appointment. Um, so, just got that out of the way. And ladies, did you know, as long as your results from a pap come back regular or normal without any like issues, they now say five years at least. I don't know if it's like grouped by age or what, but she's like, as long as they come back normal, you don't have to see us for another five years other than for like mammogram type tests and stuff like that. But for that portion of the exam, um, I was like, oh, that's changed since I've last been seen. I am just trying some uh, hash brown potato, like Southwestern style potatoes in some bacon grease with salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Kids cracked about a dozen eggs for me. I'm gonna cook those, and then I've got a pound of breakfast sausage, and then I'll just combine everything, and this will, I am like breaking out weirdly. Like, they're deep. My immune system clearly is going through something, because they're like cystic almost. They hurt, and they're not, I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart, that's what I'm getting at. Anyway, I'm finished dinner. Big old pan of breakfast burrito filling. Will stopped and picked up some of these low carb La Banderita carb counter tortilla. Is there a reason there's a random tortilla just on the counter? Huh? Is, there, is, this your, is this your tortilla just sitting on the counter out of the bag? No, but, well, that was so that I Where did it come from? I, my brain is broken. Um, but because we had taco night, and then we followed it up with breakfast burritos, we're running low on items that I didn't even think like, oh, you should buy extra of that because Tacos and breakfast burritos share a lot of the same items, such as sour cream, which we should be okay on that. Salsa, mm, not so great on that. Cheese, not so great on that. I, I did have another bag in the <laughs> fridge that was open. We went to go, I went to go make Alice last night a cheese roll up where you just melt cheese and sour cream. Well, you melt cheese on it and then add sour cream and salsa and roll up. That cheese was disgusting. It wasn't visually molding yet, but it smelled like dirty death. Socks. Will said, that smells like, that actually smells like dirty socks and feet. It was gross. So there wasn't much left in that bag. So that was tossed. So I'm just, I feel like I really dropped the ball on this meal. Will was like, I don't really add much to mine, so it's fine. But I threw, so I cooked the potatoes and bacon grease. I had a roll of breakfast sausage that I cooked up and then the eggs with salt pepper. And then I threw in some bacon bits from Costco, like the real bacon crumbles. Went to go open the bag of bacon crumbles and it was a brand new bag and tore open like where it's tear here. Ripped the entire bag like down the side. So I had to pour those into a gallon size baggie. So it's just been, it's, I'm a hot mess right now. Um, Will got me five pints of Ben and Jerry's from Kroger. 
I don't know if I mentioned on this video because I, I literally cannot, my brain is broken today. The brain fog, again, is still running rampant. Um, but they had Ben & Jerry's on sale for $3.99 with a $1 digital coupon that you can use up to five times. So he was going to bring home, he was going to get it, bring home flowers and ice cream and drop it on the front door and ring the doorbell and go back to work. But he's like, I'm not going to do that because that would have taken time out of his like work time and someone was possibly meeting and someone was supposed to be possibly meeting him at work so him not being there at that time wouldn't have been very nice so anyway he did bring me home five pints of Ben and Jerry's I'll show you the flavors in a moment he did get ice cream for him and the kids as well but mine is non-dairy so hopefully it's good but for $2.99 a pint that's a pretty good price for Ben and Jerry's because normally it's like $4.99 to $5.99 um, so yeah Alice needs to show you something you reconstructed your strawberries I cut them and she just reconstructed them do you want your hair pulled back in a braid or something you're gonna have a hair knot on and we need it pulled back somehow either a ponytail or a braid you can still wear that bandana thing but you're you're still gonna have a hair knot on too um, braid. braid okay so, you're fine. all right so yeah, you can get your yours ready, Go Alice. Ahead, it. And it needs to be a level scoop, right? Like that? He yeah. said, he said, be generous. Be generous with this one, you're right. Yeah, be generous with that one. Yes, now I'm recording. You're not even looking. You have to have your rice ready to go. And then they'll weigh it at the next part. Otherwise, it messes up their measurement. <laughs> they'll either add or take, they'll add some or they'll take some out once it gets down to the scale. Yep, you're close. Yeah, can, yeah, stay over top of your thing, sis. It weighs a No. Not yet. Pay attention. Are we doing too much now? I guess. <laughs> Maybe back to the Hi. Liliana. Liliana. Mila. Mila. I can trade you. Bring it Lila. down slow, Seth, in case it's. I can trade you. You like this one. So. No, I meant like it was your turn. Hold on, Mila. <laughs> She's like trying to smile. Good job, Tim. Oh, baby. Aw. He's like, I don't know, I can't see her. Who is that? Wait, look at the look at the Levi. Look at her. Smiling on her kid. We are home. Uh, it's 8 o'clock and I'm going to go take a quick shower and then clean up the kitchen from dinner, I suppose. Alright, I've taken my shower. My face still hurts. I've got just, it's so tender. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's related to the ulcer in my mouth and just my immune system. Um, I know it just sounds funny, but like it just painful. And like my nose feels sunburnt almost. Almost like you like an acid, I don't even know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it, like sunburned, but like the skin was peeling. <sighs> this is this is the weirdness that is my life right now. I am going to go out in the garage and choose a flavor of ice cream because that's what sounds good. Um, I, uh, yeah, I was gonna say something else and I forget what it was. What was I just doing? I was just doing something. Making a flavor of ice cream? <sighs> yep, that's what I was gonna go do. I've got the kitchen cleaned. Voila. Um, let's go and see what ice cream is out here. All right, what he get me? We've got um, P 
PB and Cookies. So this is vanilla with chocolate sandwich cookies and crunchy peanut butter swirls. We've got milk and cookies, which is vanilla with chocolate chip cookies, chocolate sandwich cookies, and chocolate cookie swirls. Um, Netflix and Chilled has peanut butter with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownie. I think this is a seven layer, yeah, coconut seven layer bar. Um, coconut ice cream with fudge chunks, walnuts, swirls of graham cracker, and caramel. And last but not least, uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. So vanilla with gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and fudge flakes. And then for them, he got just chocolate chip cookie dough and birth. Hold out here. Um, banana split. So I don't know which one I'm going to pick. Will can take care of the ice cream for him and the kids. Let me, let's see. I think I'm going to do the Netflix and chilled. Have some of that. And then the rest of them gonna put here I suppose a chemical peel that's what it feels like I've done to my face again brain fog is making it so that I can't find the words I want when I want them but that's what it feels like I've done and I most definitely have not done a chemical peel um, I did do when I was in the shower I used a um, spa grade Oh, what type of face wash is it? It does have some, like a natural, like, peel in it. Not natural. It's all in one. It's not a scrub or anything. It's not an exfoliant. Anyway, I got it when I did get a facial done at a local spa. And I did that and it burned on top of the fact that it was already hurting to begin with. So that probably didn't help. But it's smooth now. So now I've done, like, a chemical peel of sorts. But it hurt like that prior to the um, taking the shower. So it's just very weird, just very sensitive today for some reason, and I don't know sensitive to what, but on that note, I am going to stop sounding like I don't know what I'm talking about, because it's just been that kind of day, and wind it down for the evening. It's 9.30, it will, just, it will just head up to bed. He's got work in the morning. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I've got small group tomorrow afternoon, or tomorrow evening, rather. We have school here at the house, and then small group. Alice and I might go to Walmart tomorrow to see if we can find a cheap pair of dress shoes for the um, daddy-daughter dance that's coming up on Saturday. She has a pair of boots that she can wear with her dress, and that's what she'll probably do if we don't like my original plan was to wear the boots that she already has. We don't need another pair of shoes. But I figured Walmart, a lot of times you can find shoes for like $10. And if it's something she could, um, that would dress up the dress a little bit instead of wearing the boots, then she would also be able to wear them to like church and stuff. The boots that she's wearing with the dress, I showed it in one of the vlogs. Her dress is like a rose gold champagne-y type color. And then the boots are like a tan suede, like looking with gold glitter or silver glitter. So it doesn't quite match. But I was like, who's who cares what you are wearing on your feet? It's fine. So that's where we stood on that. And then I thought she had a pair of tights that she could wear with it, like a pair of white tights, like lace type, um, like with design on them. And she does not. So we're also going to look and see if we can get her a pair of tights that would look good with the dress. If not, she can just wear a pair of bike shorts under the dress and then just wear low ankle socks with the boots. But if we find dress shoes, then she'll probably need tights or dress socks anyway. So anyway, we might run to Walmart tomorrow and tackle that scenario and see what we can find. And if we find nothing, then it's fine because our original plan was to not get anything new to go with it. We bought the dress new, got that on Amazon for about $40, which was a little bit more than um, we would typically spend on a like one-time use outfit, but the dress is really pretty and she can actually, as long as she doesn't grow too quickly, she can wear it to, for like Easter at church or just, I mean, it's a little bit dressy, but it is short, it's knee length. So whereas we were looking at some of the floor length gowns at first, um, those are dresses that she wouldn't necessarily be able to wear as easily 
more than once unless we went with like a more casual maxi style which is not what she was looking for so with us going the knee length route she should be able to wear it again as long as she doesn't hit another major growth spurt because it fits just about perfect right now uh, if she grows much more it's going to be a little bit tight across the like chest and shoulders area so oh yawn uh, i was just looking to see what's on hulu i'm gonna edit this video and while i do that i usually like to have something or while i'm like exporting the video once i'm done editing i usually put something on and while i'm waiting to upload the video to youtube to schedule it out the kids and i watched an episode of the new gordon ramsay next level chef we watched an episode of that yesterday and counted it as school <laughs> I know Gordon Ramsay not not always appropriate for children but we just thought it was interesting how they have three different levels of kitchen you basically have like the basement a like main like standard kitchen that you would see like in a cafeteria style kitchen and then like the fancy top of the line kitchen we just thought it was interesting and then how the lower you get down like so the basement ends up with the worst ingredients because they get like the leftovers and they have to really be the most creative utilizing what's left over and stuff so if you've watched that you know what i'm talking about if not give it a try um it's a i don't know what station it's on i watch it on hulu oops not that the cleaning lady is also another good show that i just started watching that one is a fox it's new on fox um Next Level Chef is on Fox also. So I just, I might put that on some mindless TV in the background. Um, my Ben and Jerry's ice cream was good. At first I was like, this is kind of weird. It was like gritty. But then I realized it's because it was supposed to be gritty. It had a sweet and salty pretzel swirl. So you know how you sometimes have like a caramel swirl or a fudge swirl through the ice cream? This was a pretzel swirl, so it was almost like a gritty pretzel texture um, swirled throughout with like salt and sugary flavor crystals but it was it was good it grew on me it was an almond milk based ice cream and it was good and I didn't eat that much I would say I was looking at the serving size on the back of that technically a pint of ice cream has three servings and it's almost that particular one was almost 1200 calories for the entire container and I would say I probably didn't even even finish one serving. I only ate like maybe that much, like an inch out of the entire thing. So I was just eating very small little, like scraping it. And I would eat it and then I was doing some stuff on the computer and I would scrape a little bit more. So I was eating it slower and I ate much less than I would had I actually scooped ice cream out of a container and put it into a bowl. So I just ate it directly out of the container. But I'm gonna wind this down for tonight. Again, tomorrow's Wednesday, school, might run to Walmart, we'll see. Um, I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like tomorrow. And then tomorrow evening is small group, at which I have my homework done for that, so that's good. And I was just looking at the weather. It's been kind of chilly here. Tomorrow is supposed to be hourly, daily, ads, ads. Oh, it's going to be cold tomorrow. High of 25, so that's gross. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how many, if we'll make it to Walmart or not. I typically don't like leaving the house unless I have to when it's that cold. So We also need to pick up Valentine's candies and cards because we have a big homeschool Valentine's bowling party that we are doing or going to on the 14th of February. And then Alice's American Heritage Girls unit, um, her tender hearts, they are doing a gift card exchange or like a valentine's exchange so i need to get stuff for that which stuff is already out of the stores so okay now i'm gonna close this out thanks for watching drop a comment share some love and until next time we will see you later bye